you're looking to promote your beer online, then this is the right video for you. Hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado and if you're new to this channel, you should consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I am posting every week videos about branding, about getting your products right, about marketing your products and creating a beautiful packaging to increase your sales. And today we will talk about different methods that you can use to promote your beer bottles online. The first method that I'm going to talk about is blogging. You know that people when they're doing online searches they are searching for an answer to one of their questions. If you produce more than two blog posts per week Google will flag your website as a news website and you will have more leverage compared to other websites. First of all you need to understand which kind of customers you can find online. Are they going to be owners of restaurants, beer shops or the end consumer? then you need to understand which kind of questions are they going to input in a Google search and then you need to write blog posts that are answering those questions be careful that if you post a blog this week you won't see any result in a couple of days it takes months if not years to receive results. So this strategy is for the long-term investment. You need to combine it with the other methods that I'm going to share with you. Another tip that I can give to you is to collaborate. One indicator that Google uses to validate your website is the number of backlinks. What are backlinks? Backlinks are nothing more than hyperlinks that people from other websites have written in their blog posts that connects to your so one thing that you can do one thing that you can do is to search for people that are writing the same blog that you want to write and see what is missing there maybe you have some more arguments that those people didn't write about then you can reach out them and tell them hey I can give you this new information for free would you mind just to give to leave a hyperlink that connects to my website in that way you're funneling people from that website to yours you will receive for free a backlink that will positively impact your Google ranking number two social networks even though social networks are commonplace everyone has a Facebook page everyone has an Instagram page everyone is on LinkedIn now people are not using it coherently you need to understand that that each platform has a different kind of audience and a different mindset of audiences Therefore, I can tell you that on Instagram, people are usually searching for good images and pictures or entertaining value. So if you own a brew shop, so there you need to create your branding properly. So post beautiful pictures, post people drinking your beer, post people that are buying your beer, post your beer bottles in pubs and brew shops. On Facebook, I will use Facebook to create obviously the company's profile, but mostly to do the paid advertising. Paid advertising on Facebook is still one of the strongest that is out there. Next, we have Google Ads. Google Ads is a more expensive approach than the aforementioned ones, but it's definitely something that you want to understand how to use if you want to get results in a shorter period of time. With Google Ads, you can follow different paths. Now, this is very technical and you need to know a little bit of marketing first. This is a very competitive market. I will try to focus, at the very least, all of my effort with Google Ads to do something locally. So if you're in a certain region, just try to target that region and the keywords that your possible customers are looking for. The good thing is that with Google Ads, you can actually advertise all the aforementioned methods so you can promote your social page and you can also promote your blog posts. Finally, we have influencer marketing. Influencers are everywhere. I wouldn't go personally to very big influencers because they have leverage. They are very expensive and you probably wouldn't get what you're looking for. You want to look for those influencers that look like your most confident customers. 
So I will do what is called searching for micro influencers. So just search even in your area if you want to keep everything local. Search for people that are writing blog posts about breweries, people that are writing even just reviews of brew shops. You can even reach out those micro influencers that you're not even thinking that they are influencers. Just look for people that they have a following. Maybe they have a couple of thousands of friends on Instagram. You can tell them, I will give you for free, I will give you for free these bottles of beer. But please, in exchange, would you take a picture of yourself while enjoying this beer so that you can post it on Instagram and tag me in the description. That will be the best thing you can do with micro-influencers. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below if you already know some of these methods. Tell me about your experience. What kind of results have you received by doing influencer marketing? Have you understood how to use properly Google Ads, etc.? Press the like button if you like the video. And as always, love you all. Ciao!